We have three days to get the most powerful solar-powered pontoon boat on the water. We've got Louis Cole here. Hey. We are just about to put in the first battery. That's one big fuse. That moment when you're ready to turn the key is the moment when you know, when you figure out, you find out what you know. How are you feeling? Excited? <laughs> Nervous. I'm a little anxious, just here before we're ready to get it started for the first time. In the last build video, we showed you the framing that the solar panels sit on. Now we have attached those panels to create a continuous panel. This 1680 watt array attaches to electric actuators, allowing us the ability to raise and lower the roof. Get out of here. You gotta share some words. It looks like a military vehicle, all hunkered down. Hey, we've got Louis Cole here. Hey. Louis's been helping us out, and um, his bus is here too. Yeah, you've yeah. been helping me out. This is so cool. <laughs> An electric 1950s tractor. <laughs> no power steering on this bad boy. There's a lot of different options for power steering now for all the EVs. Yeah. Tell me when. Uh, 10 inches. Guys, is it lined up? This is yeah. pretty good. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. This is exciting, guys. Yeah, no, it's good. This is so. This is so exciting. What's the tang in there? Okay. Oh, you all right? Yeah. Okay. Clear. And clear. Right back. Yeah. Kind of. Nice! Today is the boat day. I'm going to be helping Kira and Brett on the pontoon. And uh, they're going to try and get it in the water today. Because they only have the trailer that it's sitting on for a limited time. So I'm going to get them to put me to work. There's the bad boy there. The wires are in the conduit under here and there's a sweet elbow in the front. So that's the one I'm gluing first. Uh -huh. And there's not very much room over under there. And okay. it's, yeah, it's a little tight. So um, it'll be fun. So this is the conduit here? Yes. Okay, okay we've, I've, climbed, I've climbed underneath the trailer. So when I say push, you push. Okay, go ahead and push. All right. Yeah. That one's good. I'm about ready to try my trim. Oh, nice! You've connected the. So this is the a pneumatic pump, or yeah. hydro, a hydraulic um, or pneumatic? Hydraulic. Hydraulic pump. So that tilts and raises and lowers the. Nice. Up and out of the water, and we got the steering rod made there. So maybe a couple clamps to keep some of this stuff out of the way, and we're ready. So you think we'll get in the water today? <laughs> I don't think today. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Well, we still gotta morning. put the batteries in. Right? We still gotta put the batteries in and wire. The roof is adjustable height-wise. We're gonna see if we can get it tall enough for me to stand okay. under. Okay, go ahead. Oh yeah. Wait a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, Louie. All the way up. 
yeah. And that's with my big shoes on as well. That's that. with my big shoes on. <laughs> this is like, this is nice and, this is over 6'6 six, six now, I reckon. Okay. Already hard at work. Motor control is in and the 12 volt battery. What else have you guys done this morning? Um, I'm getting all of the wires in through the box. So I just made this. These are the main leads from the motor to the batteries. And I made this little rubber thing to go around and seal it off. Um, and then the hydraulic lines working on this is for this actuator. Finish this conduit that goes from that actuator under the boat through conduit. Oh and yeah. Up into here. Okay, cool. So, so that's in the, now, is it? Yeah, so this is the controller that controls the two front ones. We are just about to put in the first battery. So mm -hmm. pretty exciting. Long time coming. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, we got the first two batteries in. These are the front batteries. The big battery, Raptor 2. Okay, so we've got the third battery in. Should we put this other one in, or do you need that space to do things? Okay. Bam! Nice. All the batteries are in. Wow. This is great. One, two, and then two at the front. Okay, final job for tonight is to help Kira bolt down the back batteries. Very fiddly work. <laughs> Alright, good job guys. Got all the batteries bolted down. I, d I couldn't have done that without you climbing underneath like with the tiny hands doing the... <laughs> it's like really fiddly underneath. No, I'm all beat up too. I'm building the seats for the boat using a 3 inch foam and marine grade vinyl. just finished the last of the bottom cushions for the boat. So for now, we are trying to get the boat on the water, so we're gonna just have bottom cushions, and then um, I'll start building the back ones and bring them out to the boat once they're done. It's nine o'clock, I think we're, we're all kind of tired and ready to be done for the night. Next task for me is to connect these big battery cables with these lugs. I need to crimp these lugs on uh, and then put the shrink wrap around. I remember doing this for a lot of cables on my van. So see what kind of crimp you can get on there. Okay. And do you like? Yeah, right up to the end. So just before the flare. Just before the flare. You have to crank it hard. Until those squeeze together almost completely. There you go. That felt good. Can you go further? Ah, oh, thanks for this. What are you working on here, Brett? I'm just trying to see how to arrange this so it doesn't look too terrible. <laughs> These are cool, like terminal blocks, whatever, whatever yeah. they're called. Yeah, sent me plenty. With plenty, I could hopefully get them arranged in a nice pattern so that uh, nothing's crossing, you know, or anything like that.
All right, it's about nine o'clock and we are wiring this boat. Getting it on the water tomorrow morning. So, working late. That's one big fuse. 800 amps. Whoa. So that'll protect us. In what scenario would that blow? If for some reason the motor controller shorted out, or the motor, yeah. and there was just a lots of lots of current being pulled, the, the batteries themselves can pull upwards 300 amps for small periods of time. Mm. But we're only pulling 550 amps max with our controller, so 800 would be like okay, you're definitely pulling more than the controller is rated at. So there's something wrong, blow. Nice and neat in there. Oh god, I wish. <laughs> no, it's, kind of, it's kind of our first run. It's looking good. First run. Alright, getting the last battery tightened up. I torqued them to one grunt. Okay. One grunt. So all the batteries are connected up now? Yeah. All nice. Sweet. How are you feeling? Are you excited? I am a little excited, but always just a little apprehensive. It's like <laughs> 20 million different systems. How we doing, Tony? We can drive like that. Screw it. Fine. Right? Foot and a half. Here we go. Stand by. Hard hats. There she blows. 78.56. All right. We good. I'm going to turn on the motor system on the controller. So you should hear the main contactor go. Try the throttle. Yeah, baby. Forward and reverse. Monitor online, which one do you want to look at? Um, let's look at battery. 78.3 volts, it shows us amps, shows us power. Go to, see if you can go to controller. Temperature 20 degrees, okay. We're ready to go, let's go. We're going to the lake! Woohoo! You know what, that's like, this isn't necessarily the most intense thing we've ever built, but it reminds me of all the way back to high school when I was wrenching on old cars. Yeah. That moment when you're ready to turn the key is is the moment when you know, when you figure out, you find out what you know. Yeah. Because yeah. if it fires right up, you know that every single little thing you did was right. And you did a lot of things. But most of the time it's like, ah, oh, there's one little thing. But today, there was no little thing. So that's good. I like it. All right. Let's prepare this thing for travel. So is the electric motor more powerful than the original petrol motor would have been? Um, or similar? Yes. <laughs> Look at that motor. It looks like a beast. It's great. 1967. Wow. Do you, see those on the Do you know what I love the most is that you've given it a new lease of life. Like, it could have ended up in a junkyard, you know? That's the thing with all these vehicles. You know, the VW buses, they're, they're six, 70s, 60s vehicles. You know, this is probably an 80s pontoon. Yeah. A 60s 80s. motor. 1980. But like the tractor, 52, you know? That's fun. And it definitely stems off of the whole street rotting thing. You know, yeah, yeah. With just better motors and solar power to fuel. I love that they're gonna tow this with a Tesla. I'm talking about. All right, we are taking our solar powered electric pontoon boat to the lake after months and months of hard labor and creativity. We're finally taking it to the lake. Okay, we've 
we've arrived at the lake. I'm glad I was here for this moment, you know. Straighten it out. How are you feeling? Excited? <laughs> Nervous, yeah. How many months have you been working on this? I think we got it in like June. Okay, not, not too long. So, yeah, not too long, but you know, we wanted to have it done months ago so we could enjoy it in the summer. That's always a story though, isn't it? Yeah, baby. How are you feeling, Brett? I'm a little anxious, just here before we're ready to get it started for the first time and, and get it running. Yeah. It moves it along just fine. The goal post is steady. Motor 23, control is 27. How many years have you been dreaming of the solar powered pumpkin? Ten. Ten. At least, probably more than that. I'm really seriously excited about it since we moved back to Northern Wisconsin. Wow, and today's the day it comes the dream becomes reality. Today's the day. Oh, I feel honored to be here. This is what a moment. What's the water temperature? Cool. Hey there. It's going good. Beautiful day. Oh man. We are Lucky. Let's see what the temperature's like. Oh yeah! Little fish there, Louis. Oh, it's nice and refreshing. This weather is unbelievable. Okay. Right. We've been relaxing for an hour maybe. Gonna cruise back now. We were challenged to build a solar-powered electric pontoon boat. After months of hard work and determination, we were able to get it on the water before the seasons changed. We've been dreaming about this project for over 10 years, and we are excited that it is finally a reality. 